Hola, good people. This is your man DJ Wolf D here with another Akai NPC tutorial. This is going to be another quick and fast one. Uh, we're going to cover creating a mute group. And this, of course, will be for the Akai NPC Studio or the Akai NPC Renaissance. And I'm using uh, the Akai NPC software version 1.8.2. That's what I'm using right now, okay? So uh, what a mute group is, for those of you who don't know, a mute group allows you to press a sample on a pad, and when you press the next pad, it'll cut that first sample off, or the, or the sample that's playing prior to the second pad that you press, it'll cut that sample off so that the samples don't overlap each other. All right, so just to give you an example of what I mean, I have eight samples on my first eight pads on the NPC right now, okay? Here they are individually. All right, so if I play them all back to back, they're gonna overlap. See how crappy that sounded? So, to create a mute group, it'll stop that from happening. So every time I hit another pad, it'll cut the prior pad off. So we can do this from both the NPC hardware, whether you have the studio or the renaissance, or we can do it right from the software screen, okay? So uh, first thing we have to do on the hardware is press the program edit button, all right? Now, if you're going to just do this from the software screen, then all you have to do is press a pad, any, any pad, and go to this play pads mode area here on the software screen, and you'll see mute group right here. And for every pad that I press right now, you see that the mute group is off on every, every sample, on every pad. So I just press pad one. It doesn't matter what, you know, what pad I press first. Uh, and I just click this drop down button. So we have an option to select anywhere from one to 32 as a mute group number. All right, you can pick any one of these. So I'll just go ahead and pick one, mute group one. So now what I need to do is press every other pad and set those pads to mute group one also. So I'll just do this one at a time on the software screen. Go to one. I'll do this for the next couple of pads. Go to one. Pad number four. Set that to mute group one. All right, so for the other uh, four pads, five, six, seven, eight, I'll show you how to do that on the hardware. So, once again, uh, I told you to press program edit. So what we're gonna do on the hardware now is press the F5 button, which is for LFO mode. And if you look on the software screen, as soon as I press this, it'll highlight this LFO play pads mode area. So I'll press it now. So you see that just got highlighted. So um, now you can see mute groups is here in the upper left corner and that's connected to this very first Q-Link knob. So of course, if you had uh, the NPC Studio, it would be your top Q-Link knob out of the four Q-Link knobs. So, if I press a pad, press pad five, that just turned to mute group off, because of course we didn't turn on pads five, six, seven, or eight yet. So now I'm just gonna set it to mute group one with the Q link knob. Just turn it to one, and once again, you go anywhere from one to 32. Um, so just set that to one, hit the next pad. Use the Q link knob, turn that one to one. Pad seven. Turn that to mute group one, and pad eight, turn that to mute group one. And now we are done. Everything is set to the same mute group. So now when I hit the pads back to back, you hear that they cut each other off so that they don't overlap. And that's it. That is how you create a mute group. 